Greetings Multiverse, and I'm here to talk to you today about this bullshit. <laughs> uh, I've talked about this on the Inside the Multiverse podcast, which I'm a part of, and you can check the link out in the description below if I didn't remember to put it up here. Um, I've talked about it on multiple occasions because this rumour has been dogging the Flash, the Flash movie specifically, for a long time now. And it's now cropped up again. This isn't really an exclusive. This isn't. This is still rumour mongering. This is still not real. But I still wanted to address it because it is really getting on my nerves. Now, just to be clear, I don't know for sure. These guys, as far as I'm aware, know more than I, I do. I, I'm not taking this as definite. I am fighting against this. There's still over a year to go before The Flash, so I'm really hoping that if this is correct, then Warner Brothers will reverse this decision forthwith, immediately. Get rid of it. Throw it away. Because the only way that I will stand for this is if it's in a post credit scene um, where that is going to be basically undone in The Flash 2. Oh no, uh, I've erased Superman. I better get him back in the next movie. That I will stand for. That will be a cool talking point. That will be actually part of the plot rather than just a concerted effort to get rid of Superman. The main DC hero. Superman is the first DC hero. He is the main one. If you're not going to do a DC universe with Superman in it, then don't bother. He was the first, he's the one who started the DCEU. Exactly how it should be. Then it was Batman, then it was Wonder Woman, and it was rolling out fine. If you want to go away from what Zack Snyder did, that is also fine. I will complain about that bitterly because I love Zack Snyder's Justice League so much. But if you want to go away from that because of general public opinion, that's fine. That is their decision. I will be annoyed about it, but I will... I will accept it. I will even accept that Michael Keaton is taking over from Ben Affleck as Batman. I don't agree with that decision at all. Again, I've described my disappointment in the Inside the Multiverse podcast on several occasions. I think that's a stupid decision uh, based on nostalgia instead of practicality. Uh, it's great for The Flash. Uh, it's wonderful for The Flash and for the marketing. But to have him back as the main Batman, that is just dumb. He's far too old to play Batman on a regular basis. And if you're not going to have a regular Batman, I know you've got the Batman. I know you've got the Robert Pattinson saga. Um, but you still don't need to get rid of Batman in the main DC universe. You can have more than one. But okay, let's go on to Superman. There is no other Superman in DC movies. Alright? Well, other than the one you've already established. Who is the same one in Shazam, is the same one in Peacemaker. I am against, this is still rumour, this is not real, we have not seen the movie, we haven't seen the context of it. Um, these guys, Screen Geek, are saying that it's um, there's going to be some sort of plot point where Zod actually managed to stop Superman from leaving Krypton and actually killed him as a baby while he was leaving and it's so it's Supergirl, Cara Danvers, who left Krypton on her own and became the sole Kryptonian hero and basically ousts Superman in the DCEU. I will not stand for that. I love Supergirl. She's a great character. But the first Supergirl movie, I want to have Superman in it mentoring her. I want it to basically be Superman Unbound. That's what I really, really want. With them fighting Brainiac together, that will make every Superman fan happy. That will make every Supergirl fan happy. That will make every Brainiac fan or DC fan happy. Why aren't Warner Brothers doing that? Well, again, I don't know. Except for the fact that they haven't announced it yet. They haven't announced any sort of plans for Superman. They haven't said anything of what they're going to be doing with, the, with Superman other than um, reboots with black actors. Again, I don't, I'm fine with the black actor playing Superman. Except there already is a Superman. I want you to do that as a separate film from the DCEU and actually explore what it's like to be like a black person being Superman. We've already got a Superman in the DCEU. He's totally fine. He's great. He's the greatest Superman ever, in fact. But if you're just going to write out Superman from the DCEU, then don't bother having a DCEU. It's just... <sighs> one buzz. <sighs> Could you just please, please 
please do something correct with your characters. For They're doing pretty well. The Batman was fantastic. The Suicide Squad was fantastic. Other than this nonsense, The Flash looks fantastic to me. Honestly, I think The Flash is going to be great. No matter how much people complain about it, no matter how much I am kind of sort of complaining about it right now, I think The Flash will be a great movie. But if this bullshit happens in that movie, I am going to walk out of it with a sour taste in my mouth. That will sour me on DC in general. This is the one decision that Warner Brothers could do that could put me off DC in general. I am not kidding. This is monumental. This is earth-shatteringly stupid. Cutting off your nose to spite your face. It's all based on ego. They want to erase anything Zack Snyder did. And at the cost of Superman. Of cost of their main character. Why? Because of ego. Because they think that Henry Cavill with the DCEU, well, more specifically with the Snyderverse. They want to get rid of the Snyderverse entirely. They want to rejig it, but they want to do it while also erasing who they think is the face of the Snyderverse. Even though they've got Wonder Woman, even though they've got Aquaman, even though they've got The Flash, they still want to get rid of Ben Affleck left of his own volition. Henry Cavill wants to be Superman again. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for not giving him another movie. If you don't want to give him another straight Superman movie, then make him a mentor character in the Supergirl movie. Make a joint Superman stroke Supergirl movie, and then everything, everything is fine. All you have to do is make a Superman and Supergirl movie with Henry Cavill and Sasha Kelly, and then everything is golden. And then probably not going to do that. Why? Because Warner Brothers don't act for things like audiences, or movies, or money, or business, or anything like that. They act because of ego. Or at least the people in charge of DC, like Walter Armada and Anne Sarnoff, that's what they're doing. They want to get rid of Zack Snyder and basically scorch the earth for everything that he did. But they don't want to stop the DCEU, they don't want to stop Wonder Woman, Aquaman and The Flash, etc. So they kind of want to have their cake and eat it too. Unfortunately, uh, the cake they want is not the one that anyone actually wants. Least of all them. They just want to get rid of Zack Snyder. They want to get rid of uh, his influence and his Snyderverse. And they're basically, poor old Henry Cavill, poor old Superman... <laughs> they're, uh, they're trying to get rid of that because I don't know I, I, I can't think of a decent reason but that in their head is what's going on Henry Cavill is a fantastic Superman him and Sasha Kelly together would be a dynamite combination Superman and Supergirl in a movie that'd be great but what we're actually going to get is we're going to get another Supergirl movie where Superman doesn't show up in it that's what we're going to freaking get and no one wants that hmm? <laughs> the Suicide Squad I mean there's a reason why the Suicide Squad didn't do as well as the first Suicide Squad and not just because um, there was a sour taste and because of Covid and all that there wasn't really the hype behind it. As soon as Batman and the Joker showed up in the trailers for Suicide Squad, there was all that hype element. They brought up Superman and things like that, and and there, it felt like a key part of an ongoing story. That's how Marvel gets away with it. That's how the MCU, every MCU thing does well, because they've managed to position every part of it as the next step in the story and people feel they need to see the next Marvel thing in order to actually get the one after that. It's the next part of the story. It's going to be teased and everyone's going to be talking about it in that way. DC had that. Yep, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, then all building to Justice League, but they completely destroyed it. Suicide Squad and Justice League were completely destroyed by Warner Brothers' incompetence and arrogance and ego and um, not trusting um, their filmmakers. All because of the reaction to Batman v Superman, mostly. As great as it is, as much as it works, uh, unfortunately the public perception of it, uh, I, I admit, 
there are problems. That, I'm talking about the public perception here. Uh, and I can understand wanting to back away from it, but at the same time, not at the expense of your main character. A l big part of the reason why Justice League did badly was because they refused to do any sort of advertisement with Superman in it. And saying explicitly, Superman is in this movie. That kept the main DC hero out of the Justice League, out of their movie. And as such, people weren't as interested. They, they weren't as hyped. Ah, uh, but it, it doesn't matter now. But still, that's that's the pull Superman has, and Peacemaker just had him in it. I took that as a very good sign that they actually wanted to carry on with Superman. And this is rumor. This I'm taking this as rumor, but I'm also taking this as a chance for us to put our foots down and say, "Look, Warner Brothers, we're not standing for this. This is complete nonsense. This is a bad decision." All round, whether in terms of business, whether in terms of movies, whether in terms of DC and the DC universe and fandom and every possible conceivable angle of this, this is a bad, bad, bad decision. And it will ruin The Flash. At least for me. Anyway, I could enjoy the remaining 99% of The Flash. And I'm really pumped for that movie. But this one decision this one moment it probably will only be a tiny tiny moment in the flash if it happens at all but that tiniest thing could completely sour me on the movie and sour me on dc in general this is anti-marketing <laughs> really really is this this is this is to actually how a, a crash course on how to put people off an entire universe really i mean it's taken straight out the last jedi's playbook and I, it just makes me mad. It really makes me mad. This, the whole concept, the whole idea. That this could be total nonsense. I really hope that all the rumours, leaks, everything for this idea all total nonsense. Or is part of a larger plan. Like I said, if it's a post-credits thing, it's a big shocker. And then they're going to undo it in The Flash 2. That's great. I will allow that. that because that it becomes part of a talking point, part of a plot thing. If it, I don't think Warner Brothers have that much of a plan. I think they just literally are working in ego. I think, um, oh, we're going to get rid of Henry Cavill and then maybe replace him later and have a Superman movie then later and then we'll get our, our black actor to be Superman to pretend like we're not massive racists. I mean, this this just has me really annoyed. I just want to really vent it. And I'm sorry for venting it, you guys. But I hope all of you have the exact same opinion as me. Maybe you don't. Let me know in the comments below or on the Inside the Multiverse Discord server, which you'll find a link to in the description below. I'm sure I will be complaining about this again the next time we have a podcast, which might be a little while, admittedly. So we might have forgotten about this. But The Flash is still a year and a bit away. Um, by this point, so if this happens in the Flash, this is will all this will be, be the only thing that anyone talks about. Really, are they won't talk, care about Michael Keaton um, being in the movie. They won't care about other cool things happening in that movie. This will, will ruin the movie. This one small decision. I can mean, I mean, the talking about it, the the general discourse about the Flash movie has gone so sour. Even though the movie looks great, honestly. Every, all the cards are in place for The Flash to be a fantastic movie. Ezra Miller's antics aside. But the actual movie itself uh, could be fantastic. And the early screenings, supposedly, uh, the reactions have been very good. I think it will be great. But at the same time, this one decision will ruin it. Will sink it. The fandom are already kind of against the movie. And this will be fuel to the fire when The Flash actually turns up. They won't bother with... The rest of the movie, they don't bother talking about it. It'll be all this nonsense. Yeah, it really will be. Honestly. And it's the only thing that I will not stand for. This could put me off DC movies. It might put me off the DCEU. Anyway, I mean, I'm already really, really ticked off with Warner Brothers. I, I say, like, I'm, I'm not going to be, like, really hyping up every single DC thing that comes out, but it'll be mostly games, it'll be mostly the Batman stuff. DCEU, you might as well put a bullet through the head if you're going to take out Superman. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, let me know. What do you think? Do you hate... 
this decision as much as I do, or do you not particularly care? Do you think it's part of a bigger plan? Let me know, comments, or inside the Mods First Discord server, and check out other videos on DC Comics Gamer. I'm sure I've got a fair few on Superman, including at least one other major rant about um, this sort of decision. And of course, like, share, and subscribe, that already helps me out. And yeah, seriously, check out Inside the Multiverse. That's the DC Comics podcast I'm a part of with Teladia Plays, and that's on its own separate channel. Just check out the community segment of my YouTube page, you'll find a link to the most recent episode. But now, thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for watching me vent about Superman once again. I feel I do that a lot. Uh. But for now, Multiverse, out.